Where are you going? I'm going to work. I'll be back late. <sighs> work, isn't it? You're telling me. I'm doing the early shift. I'm lucky. Mm. Good luck on the camping trip, by the way. Oh, well, thanks. Listen, I've got a dash. I'll be back late. I'll see you later. If we don't hurry, we're going to lose him. Okay. Start trying to seal some of the blood fissures to try and limit the bleeding. I'm trying, but they're rupturing too fast. It's too late. He's a goner. Time of death is... Just a few more seconds. 22 minutes to 5am. You start the tagging and clean up while I start the paperwork and notify them all. If you just kept trying, I'm sure he would have... Died anyway! Stephen, I thought you would have learnt by now not to become emotionally invested in the patient. I'll see you later. And remember, don't forget to tag him. This isn't why I became a doctor, you know. I wanted to help people from being compassionate lifesaver. But everything, as you can see, is so sterile and lifeless. Take these tags, for example. We have managed to objectify people's lives and problems. You get a red one, overacting hypochondriac. Blue, possible lifelong trauma and scarring. How about green, known drug addict? Even the biggest, like cancer, can be summarized in a little yellow stylish wristband. But the one you definitely don't want to get are the black ones. Only the very worst deaths receive a black color scheme. <laughs> Listen to me moan. If things don't change soon, I might just call it quits. second there. That's all right. I'm on my way to the morgue. Are you? Oh yeah, me too. Oh, wait a minute. I think somebody else wants to get on. Oh my... No. How is that even possible? No, that, that, that man, he, he looks hurt. He needs our help. That's the man I just operated on. He died during the operation. What, didn't you see the black wristband he was wearing? That means your heart's no longer functioning and you are clinically dead. What do you understand? Th this wristband. What about it? Did it look like this?
Of Mice and Men was written and set in the Great Depression. Um, and during the Great Depression, it was incredibly hard to find a job. Um, does anyone know when the Great Depression was? Anyone else? Okay, John. It was the 1930s, sir. Correct. Okay, it's pop quiz time. Mr. Fox, Mr. Fox, look! Very funny, Benjamin. Now get on with your work. But I swear. Work, now! Hiya, sorry. Um, have you seen this girl at all? Um, no. I can't say I have. Have you got a name? I could probably run it through the system. Yeah, um... Lauren Goodman. Lauren Goodman, okay. Um, no, it says she doesn't go to this school. Um, thanks anyway. You okay? I need an ambulance to Greenacres Avenue right now. He ran out in front of me. I didn't see him. I hit him with my car. My name's Stephen. I was on my way to work, but okay, hurry.
Hello? Oh, hi. No, no, no. Where are you? Okay, yeah, just make sure you lock the doors and everything. Yeah, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Into if you like the final, the final race on uh... virus legal. What they're trying to do, and all we need to do is to say so. Indiana, those floodwaters in the Mississippi are moving south. Originally, Noren functioned as a cover for keeping things out. This just in: a convicted murderer has escaped Broadmoor Asylum. Reports say it's 19-year-old Iman Bellock, who was arrested in 2009 the murders of Zoe Price and Marvel Newland. He was last seen in the Shell petrol station in Bracknell. Police recommend that residents in the Bracknell area should stay inside and away from any windows that can be seen from the outside. I will repeat that. Residents should stay inside and away from windows that can be seen from the outside. Ivan is a white male between five foot eight and six foot tall with brown hair and black eyes. He was last seen wearing a black hooded jacket in the Bracknell area. Hello? Well, hey, mum. I'm alright. Just watching some TV. I think I'm going to get sleep now. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Sure. Yeah. Good night. Ivan is a white male between 5 foot 8 and 6 foot tall with brown hair and black eyes. He was last seen wearing a black hooded jacket in the Bracknell area. Says I'm sorry.